What's up everyone, Tablade here with a quick information video regarding the Day 14 Limited Bounties for the Grand Appreciation Fest in Monster Hunter World Iceborne. This is for both PC and console versions of the game and depending where you live in the world the times that Limited Bounties reset can differ. Now a few bits of information before we actually get into the Limited Bounties. On PC they have received their first free title update which introduces the new monster Rajang, well returning monster, as well as the new volcanic area to the Gaiden Lands. There are videos elsewhere on the channel if you want more information regarding this title update, so check them out if you haven't already done so. But unfortunately it means you're going to have to download a patch before jumping into Iceborne. But it's not the biggest and it shouldn't take you too long. But on top of that, PC players have also access to the Monster Hunter World Iceborne Taiwanese Championship Special Item Pack, which includes 30 Firecasters, 20 Ancient Potions, 15 Gourmet Vouchers, 3 Golden Eggs and a Release Jewel. So don't forget to claim that by simply logging in. Finally, and more news for the PC, is they've got three new event quests which we'll talk about when we get to the PC section of the video. But anyway, let's move on to talk about the limited bounties first on console. Now console players have six of them, first is a failed research event limited bounty to complete just one event quest. It can be done at any rank and for doing so you'll get research points, an advanced atmosphere, appreciation tickets and appreciation fireworks. Next is a General Elder's Recess Limited Bounty to clear two quests in this specific location at any rank and for doing so you'll get research points, hard atmosphere, appreciation tickets and more appreciation fireworks. Next is an Ecology Survey Tempered Monster Hunt. We have to hunt down one Tempered Monster and it can either be at high or master rank and on top of that it can be any threat level and for doing so you'll get research points, some hard atmospheres, appreciation tickets and more appreciation fireworks. This is also the last limited bounty you receive if you haven't upgraded to Iceborne yet. But if you have, you'll also have an ecology survey to hunt Brute Wyvern. You have to hunt one of these monsters and it specifically has to be at Master Rank. And for doing so, you'll get research points, a heavy atmosphere, gratitude ticket and more snowmen. Next is another ecology survey to hunt Savage Devil Joe. We have to hunt one of these Brute Wyvern and it specifically has to be at Master Rank. And for doing so, you'll get research points, some heavy atmospheres, a gratitude ticket and more snowmen. And then finally is the general limited bounty to complete all of today's other limited bounties. And for doing so you'll get research points, a king armor sphere today, some more gratitude ticket and even more snowmen. So those are all the limited bounties we have on console. Not the most difficult and they line up quite nicely. As a result they can be done in just two event quests, well two hunts in fact. First of all take on the event quest A Reason Behind the Hunger or if you're on PlayStation Firebreak this has players taken on a Savage Devil Joe in the Elder's Recess. This will complete the Hunt Savage Devil Joe Limited Bounty, Hunt Brute Wyvern Limited Bounty, Event Quest Limited Bounty and put a dent in the Elder's Recess Limited Bounty. Afterwards it's a case of taking on an Event Quest, Investigation, whatever that involves a tempered monster in the Elder's Recess. Do this and you'll get everything done in just two hunts. But. That's about it for console, let's move over to talk about the PC version of the game. Now PC players have access to 6 limited bounties, first is a field research event limited bounty to complete 2 event quests. They can be done at any rank and for doing so you'll get research points, an advanced atmosphere, appreciation tickets and appreciation fireworks. Next is a general wild spy waste limited bounty to clear 2 quests in this specific location at any rank and for doing so you'll get research points, some hard atmospheres, appreciation tickets and some appreciation fireworks. Next is an ecology survey to hunt Black Diablos. We have to hunt one of these flying wyvern and it can be at any rank. And for doing so you'll get research points, some hard atmospheres, appreciation tickets and more appreciation fireworks. This is as always the last limited bounty you'll receive if you haven't upgraded to Iceborne yet. But if you have you'll also have an ecology survey to hunt Nightshade Paolumu. We have to hunt one of these flying wyvern and it has to be at master rank. And for doing so you'll get research points, a heavy atmosphere, gratitude ticket and some snowmen. Next is an ecology survey to slay an elder dragon. We have to hunt down one elder dragon at master rank. And for doing so you'll get research points, some heavy atmospheres, gratitude ticket and more snowmen. And then finally is the general limited bounty to complete all of today's other limited bounties. And for doing so you'll get research points, king atmosphere, gratitude tickets and even more snowmen. So those are all the limited bounties we have on PC today. Not the most challenging and they can be done in free event quests. First of all I'd recommend taking on the event quest A Curious Experiment. This will put a dent in the Wild Spire Waste Limited Bounty as well as Event Quest Limited Bounty whilst completing the Nightshade Paolumu Limited Bounty. Afterwards take on Desert Dash which has players taken on a Black Diablos and T-Rex. This will complete the Event Quest Limited Bounty, Wild Spire Waste Limited Bounty and the Hunt Black Diablos Limited Bounty. Afterwards it's a case of taking on an optional quest, investigation, event quest, whatever that involves an Elder Dragon at Master Rank and you'll get everything done today. But before I go PC have access to some new event quests. 
These come in the form of the collaboration event with Resident Evil 2, as well as event quests that allow you to craft the winning contest designs for the Palico armor and weapons. So first of all is Every Hunter's Dream 2. This is a two star master rank quest that requires hunters to be master rank 6 or higher and has players capturing a coral puke puke in the coral highlands. And for completing this they'll gain materials to craft the wiggler set alpha for your palico. Next is Every Hunter's Dream 3, a three star master rank quest that requires hunters to be master rank 9 or higher. This has players taking on a nightshade paolumu and nagakuga in the arena. And for completing this, you'll get tickets to craft the Black Eagle Charge Blade as well as its upgrade. These materials can also be used to upgrade the Wyvern's Ignition Greatsword, so that's something to be aware of. And finally, and new is RE Return of the Bioweapon, a 5 star master rank quest that requires hunters to be master rank 20 or higher. This has players taking on a Black Veil Valhazak in the Rotten Vale. Now, this fight is slightly different as there is a new zombification effect in play. But for doing it, you'll get stars, badges that can be used to craft the Leon and Claire full armor sets, as well as a few other bits and bobs. But that's about it for today. Don't forget to check back tomorrow for day 15. And until next time, I've been Darkblade, bringing you a quick information video regarding the day 14 limited bounties for the Grand Appreciation Fest in Monster Hunter World Iceborne. Hope you enjoyed the little video. Thanks for watching. Subscribe and like for more.